Welcome back. It's January 1st, the start of a brand new fresh year, 2023. And I'm so excited to be venturing off into new directions, creating new things and manifesting new things into being. So that's my theme for this January is how to set intentions and goals for the new year. And because I'm a journaler and I've talked a little bit about journaling as a lifestyle before, today I want to really dive into the meat of it and give you some practical tools to embrace the idea of setting those goals for yourself for the year. So as I mentioned before, one of my big inspirations was this lady here, Cheryl Thiel. And she wrote this Sacred Journey uh, Daily Journal for Your Soul. And I did these books for several years. And they were a big inspiration into my practice now. Now I just use a fresh new journal to begin the year. Sometimes it doesn't last the whole year, sometimes it does. And I just start off with the different categories that resonate for me as important. And I write in it. I usually take a good week at the beginning of the year to talk about, write about what's on my mind in, in the different categories. And how perfect, because today's the 1st of January. If you haven't already, you can go out and get your own fresh new journal and get ready to think, speak, feel and write and then manifest your authentic life, which was the title for one of the guest blogs I did last year. And um, it was really sitting with me as almost a mantra that I'm carrying forward into 2023. So I'm going to go through the different parts and share a little bit about each one. So the first section that I write about is called My Heart Calling. And that is the core pathway to creating joy and fulfillment in your life. So your heart calling is going to be deeply personal and very unique to everyone. It won't be the same as someone else's. For me, I write down everything that comes up for me from a place of love and from a place of just really feeling in my heart, what is it that is lighting me up, that's exciting me, that brings me a sense of joy and enthusiasm for my life. So I just write that down, usually about a page. It's really a, a big part of the foundation of setting for the year. And then the other half of that foundation is my credo, or credo, I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, I struggle with those kind of things sometimes. This uh, aspect is your beliefs, your core beliefs. And you're going to think about that to create values that are in alignment with your values and beliefs because you don't want to be setting goals that don't fit in with who you want to be and what you want to be. So I usually explore in this section what I respect about myself and also people who I feel influenced by what I respect about them and I really examine what I feel my authentic purpose is. And I believe that that changes, but there's a core aspect of who you are that's gonna be, um, you're gonna be true to that, however it's coming about. And your career can change, your life partner can change, the people you hang out with can change, but you're still kind of bringing forward the core you that I think is part of your DNA and how you were born. So then, diving more into specifics, uh, there is goals that relate to different aspects of your life. The first goals I look at are spiritual, and in that section I consider what spiritual practices I want to focus on that year. So if you're religious and you follow a particular religion, then you probably already have a set of practices related to that, and if you aren't, um, if you're like myself and you have a more personal 
relationship with God or divine or source or whatever word that people like to use. Then it might be more about how am I going to create space for that? Am I going to have a space in the house? Is it going to be outside in nature? Is it going to be a mix of things? Am I going to make a commitment to myself to include prayer or meditation more often as a daily routine or, or um, practice? So those are what I look at and I write about. Then I move from there into my personal goals and I examine what do I want to achieve in my mental well-being, my physical health and my emotional wellness. So I set goals that are to do with exercise, with managing diabetes, with nutrition, maybe some new recipes I want to try that are healthy and delicious. I might have some books that I want to read or a course I'm interested in. Enrolling. Last year I decided to do um, my daughter's Tantra yoga course and I'm just wrapping it up now and it's been an amazing opportunity to really expand my idea of life and my meditation practice and my yoga. So I think about those kind of things and sometimes those things don't, opportunities don't come up till later in the year and then you have to have space. So you can't, you don't want to fill it up so much that there's no room for opportunities that come along. So from personal goals, I move into financial and career goals. And that's fairly self-explanatory, but I write specific outcomes for my writing, and that will include whatever manuscript I'm currently working on, my marketing, my blog, my YouTube content, my sales that I want to achieve. And I also talk about our investments and savings goals with Mr. I look at my relationship goals and consider what relationships in my life are fulfilling and supportive and which are draining. And then I set priorities for engagement and healthy boundaries. I write about my path of service um, and how I can contribute to com my community. I write about my travel and leisure goals. So this year I'm thinking, uh, my husband and I both agree, we've had so much travel uh, over our seven years in Saudi Arabia that we're really feeling like hunkering down. But we're hoping to do some short adventures here in our new country of Panama. And leisure, that's of course things you want to do with your free time. You want to read more, go to movies, um, start a girls night out, uh, something like that. Dinners with, with people that you are friends with, work um, opportunities. And then I get into some long-term goals and I write work and life plans for the next five years that are vague but based on where things are right now. And that pretty much sums up my beginning of the year journaling uh, outline. But this year I've decided I'm also going to use um, my own <laughs> companion journal and actually work through the prompts. And I'm going to start, not at the beginning, <laughs> I'm going to start in the middle. It just seemed appropriate, the third section in the Holding and the Healing Companion Journal is Uncovering Your Authentic Self. So I've already done a lot of this work, but I just thought it might be a good practice to go through and do them and see what that feels like at this point in my life. And that's the great thing about all of these things. It's always changing because you're changing and your situation changes, usually at least a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and also very excited. I found this gorgeous agenda at the local El Hombre de la Mancha bookstore here in Coronado. I'm so excited. This agenda is um, in Spanish. So I feel like it's gonna help me with that goal of learning Spanish. And it has a calendar, big calendars, and then Enero is Espanol for January. And uh, I can't read all of this yet, but I'm gonna make my way through it. And then it has the, the month agenda. So you can also write more detail day to day. So really looking forward to using this as part of my practice. 
So I hope that this gives you a little bit of a kickstart and inspiration to thinking about what kind of intentions and goals you want to set for the year. And if you are interested in some more uh, material around this, there's tons out there, but tune in to my blog on January 15th and I'm going to be going even more in depth in my blog around all of this concept of manifesting and creating your life through your thoughts and through your writing and through your mindfulness practice. So thanks for tuning in. I wish you well and I hope to see you again soon. Stay well. My books are available online at Amazon, Chapters Indigo, or at Barnes & Noble. Or you can head on over to my website, www.lindaveschmidt.com. Click on My Books in the menu bar, and all the buttons are right there.